What's that? <gasps> oh, hello? Whoa! It's a monster! <laughs> no! Truff is not a monster! <sighs> no way! It can talk! Please! Please! Don't hurt Truff! <laughs> Truff is a monster, yes, but not a bad one. I'm sorry, you just surprised us, that's all. I never heard of talking monsters. Me either. Truff doesn't hurt humans, so please don't hurt Truff. Don't worry, we won't. So, what are you doing out here all by yourself? You... Want to hear Truff's story? <laughs> oh, thank you! Oh, Truff is looking for someone. <laughs> someone who can cut tall grass. Uh, what do you mean exactly? Truff dropped a ring. <laughs> a precious, sparkly, shiny ring. <laughs> Truff has searched and searched, but <laughs> nothing. Aye, the grass will definitely get in the way of that. Yeah, talk about looking for a needle in a haystack. So, you need someone to cut the grass so you can find this ring? Yes! Someone with a weapon like yours! Yes, you could do it! Sure, I guess we could, but... You, you will help Truff? Oh, thank you, thank you! Truff has asked so many humans to help, but they all ran away. You are the only ones who have listened. Aye, well, they were probably just a wee bit shocked, that's all. Uh, like we said, uh, talking monsters aren't exactly common. Well, anyway, we know you're not a bad monster now. Right, let's get mowing. Where do you think we should start? Is this your ring, Truff? Oh! Yes! That's it! That's it! Humans found it! Oh, thank goodness! I'm not so sure it'll fit you, though. Oh! Oh, it's not Truff's! <laughs> it's for Truff's friend! Truff's friend, uh, <gasps> human! What? You have a human friend? Yes, yes! He rescued Truff then. Truff and he became friends. Best friends. He's the one who taught Truff how to speak. So that's how you learned, huh? Nice. Well, don't go dropping the ring again, okay? <laughs> thank you, thank you, thank you, thank you! Stop! Wait! What's the matter? They followed! Who did? Monsters? Yes! Monsters who want the ring, who love its shiny, shiny, shiny golden glow! They chased Truff. That's why Truff dropped the ring! Sounds like someone needs to teach this lot a lesson. But Truff can't fight! Humans can, though. Humans can fight them for me, yes! Come on, let's sneak up on them. Uh, sure, I guess. Let's do it.
We've got the upper hand, guys! Problem, Truff. You still have your ring, right? Yes, yes. Truff is never going to lose it again. <laughs> but you'll give it to your friend when you find them, right? Yes, of course, of course, of course. Speaking of which, you never told us the whole story of how you met. Oh, Truff was hungry. <laughs> so hungry, Truff thought he would die. Then a human came, <laughs> gave Truff food. Mm. It was so delicious, and it saved Truff's life. The human told Truff so much about his kind, about cooking. And then, one day, he said it. You're my friend, Truff. Ah. Then he left, but he forgot his ring. So Truff decided to take it back to him. <clears throat> Wait, do you know anything about this person? His name... anything? Truff's friend's name is Mitch. <laughs> Mitch is something called a traveling chef. And Truff remembers his face very well. <laughs> if Truff sees his friend's face, he will know him right away. <laughs> so, you're on a journey, but you don't know where you're headed, huh? <laughs> I sometimes feel that way too. Well, good luck. I hope you find your friend. Thank you. Truff hopes so as well. Be careful out there, humans. Looks like we found that fisherman's knife. Aye. Just look at that sea, eh? I've seen it now, you'd never think it could rise up like it did. Yeah. The waves have died down some since the storm. But you should have seen it. I can imagine. Just goes to show how badly we need the crystals. Everything all right, Lady Emma? Wind's picking up. 
Looks like there's a storm brewing. You don't quite seem yourself today, if I may say so. I've been thinking about the past. Ah, uh, reminiscing, eh? Something like that. Can't believe it's been 50 years already. Aye, 50 years is a... Wait, 50 years? Lady Emma, if you don't mind me asking, just how old are you? I do mind you asking as it happens, you impertinent so-and-so. I am a lady, you know. Oh, I'm... Um, I... Uh, sorry. <laughs> Ugh, stop with your bowing and scraping, it's embarrassing. Not that I mind seeing you show a bit of respect every now and then. If you can manage to take things more seriously once in a while, we might make a half-decent scholar of you one day. And when we do, I'll tell you. About the past, I mean. Wait, so what does that make me now? Quarter decent? Ah, third and a bit? <laughs> Come on, it's got to be at least a quarter. Not even close. Have you forgotten the mark you got in that last test? It was your lowest ever. Quarter's too good for you, you great knucklehead. Knuckle? You've got a long, long way to go yet, and don't you go thinking otherwise. But if I can cram one thing into your thick skull in the meantime, let it be this. When the storm comes, calamity will soon follow. When the storm comes, calamity will soon follow. <laughs> right. Better get this knife back to his rightful owner and claim our reward, eh? Just a couple of drinks, okay? Aye, just a couple. Come on, let's shake a leg. Uh, that's... that's my master's knife. Oh, thank you. Thank you so, so much. <laughs> Just look up. Warms the cockles of your heart, eh? Sure, I guess. So, you said this was your master's knife? Uh, it's very special. The king himself gave it to him. He must have done something pretty amazing to deserve a gift like that. Oh, he did. He changed fishing forever. See, back when he started, all the fishermen were disorganized, disgraceful ruffians. But he cleaned them up, taught them to take pride in their work, and gave them a real sense of purpose. The king was so impressed he asked my master to become his fisheries minister. But my master refused. He didn't want to work in an office. He wanted to be out on the boats with the others. Choosing a life of hard graft over a cushy job with a posh title, eh? There's a lot to admire about that. There is, isn't there? Come to think of it, the king said the same thing when he presented him with the knife. My master kept fishing until his dying day. And when he finally passed on, he left me his prized possession. Keeps me safe out of the seas, it does. Your master sounds like a great man. <sighs> but anyway, I owe you a drink. Many drinks, in fact. Tonight, <laughs> on me. Oh, huh, thank you kindly, don't mind if I do. Just a couple, right? What are you suggesting? That we say no if it turns into more? And how's our pal here gonna feel about that, hmm? Uh, I guess you're right. Fine. That's the spirit! Marky, bring us a bottle of your most expensive but drug! Ha-ha! <laughs> now we're talking to new friends!
get stuck in. Okay then. I'm going all in. Hmm. All right then. Drink to that. We've got the upper hand, guys. Guess it's my turn. Everyone okay? Blindsided us. Guess it's my turn. Ha <laughs> ha! 